Last episode of Yakuza Fiance, Yoshino has had enough and she's decided that if she's going to suffer, she's going to drag everybody down with her. Unfortunately, Kirishima likes that kind of stuff, so I mean, unfortunately, but also fortunately, she has now gotten Kirishima's attention. Will she be able to keep this up? We'll just have to see. Full lengths are on Patreon, first episode's free, early access on a YouTube membership. Other than that, let us get started. Oh, she's sneaking out here from Kirishima, I would presume. She's not following me. Ah, just trying to have lunch by herself. <laughs> You're gonna jinx yourself. Ooh, only just closed up. <laughs> He's got a love radar. Ah, shit, and also your hair is like extremely red. <laughs> she was looking at her bag like, you have a GPS? <laughs> So it is a tracker. Uh oh. It must maybe it's that something annoying that he was uh that he had the phone call with, right? Very fun title sequence. I guess you'll find out when it happens. <laughs> the organ selling. <laughs> you wanna die a little shit? Oh. The daughter of the Akaza Enterprises. Third from the top. Second from the top. Alright. I wonder if that it's that black haired girl. Except <laughs> right now. A similar girl. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Deaf. Even odds are I snap and kill this dude. <laughs> Inside the house. <laughs> yeah. You know something about it. <laughs> oh, you fucking got you. <gasps> hot pot! <laughs> but hey, you got a hot pot at the very least. <laughs> Suddenly, I lost appetite. <laughs> Flowers growing instead of brain cells. Didn't you really need to slap her with a virgin sign? Ah, what he was looking for, huh? <laughs> it's one of those two. <laughs> well, he's probably like, I'm not gonna let that happen. By blood. Oh. Ah. Grand uncle. You wanted to become a Yakuza? <laughs> I had nothing else. Oh. Well. I wonder what happened. Gaming rooms? Like, for gamers or for gambling? <laughs> Welcome to Yakuza, dude. Turf Wars. <laughs> oh, you lived in your own turf. Yeah. This whole time. 70%. Ah. Power frequency. 
Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Sun funeral for the Akaza member. Pre major violent incident. Oh. Couldn't handle on their own, so they just brought him to the Yakuza? Wow. <laughs> No, it's just, just rumors, that's all, but like, I believe it. Ha, <laughs> sorry for scaring you. That's a nice outfit she's got here. Oh, that's the same tattoo. Akaza. <gasps> old man's been hard. Ah. Let's go. Yeah, hiding from... Nox Tokyo. Yes, two phones. <laughs> Wouldn't be seen wandering around here. Mmm. <laughs> Look, he's got these fists, man. Oh, you're going to? If you wanted to party. <laughs> For that one deal. No. Is this Zoro? <laughs> if you th oh. <laughs> oh shit! Welcome to the club, Yoshino. <laughs> Their parents would cry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's just gonna bust into this room. Yeah, what did you even do? <gasps> Cheating? Against the Filipino Mafia? Ah. If cheating wasn't me? <laughs> yeah, he's just crashing in in here. Hello, I'm Sobe. <laughs> Look at him just stepping over that. Can't so join me at our office instead. Oh. It's gonna get past the point of no return. Oh. Mm, since they are a part of the. Moving to ground. Uh oh. Oh my. Uh oh. You fucked them up. Damn, dude. Just fucking. Not even like a shove. Just a boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the ashtray? Oh. Right in her fucking nose, dude. Bonk the shit out of her. <laughs> I buy it, yeah. I believe that shit. Right in her face, too. Like, Jesus Christ. It's all that workout. It's all that punching in the face. Oh. You need a workout? <laughs> Oh shit! Why this guy got a knife? Holy shit! Right in the back of his thigh. Uh oh. Oh, the hair dryer. <laughs> Yo, she fucking. Yo, she's ne she needs a new hair dryer. <laughs> My guy, you you got stabbed. <laughs> and you're bleeding too. <laughs> oh, but I hit him twice. 
Another 10 liters of blood. It's the most casual punch I've seen yet from him. <laughs> you told him to die. I... Look, it's just a hyperbole, all right? Oh. <laughs> Y'all just got too busy fighting. <laughs> she fainted? <laughs> I'm too depressed to care. <laughs> he got beat up. Yeah, he got fucking beat the shit out of by his own fa her family, her side of the family. Spit the money down the middle. Wow, how nice of the Filipino mob. It's <laughs> the casual 10 million, dude. <laughs> Honestly, dude, just bringing 10 million to school? You literally gave 4 million the other day. Selling a kidney to. Corneas. No, 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 let's not sell. <laughs> I think you already made it back with the 10 million. Damn, dude. When you're rejecting 10 million dollars for just a hairdryer. <laughs> just got a uh, someone following. Oh. Oh, is that Sh Shoma? Damn, dude, those eyes. All right. Just a fun low episode about, you know, more, what is it? Just gang understanding the structure of the mafia, but also just showcasing us that there are other mob out there as well. You know, the, obviously there's the Filipino mob. I mean, there's even the triad, you know, you don't know. I don't know if the triad will ever come up at some point. <laughs> yeah, here I thought it was like, <laughs> the same boy and just because they have like the same green outline and this god damn dude god such a smooth animation i love it no oh, that my that that man right over there he's got like a whole sleeve tattoo on his arm i wonder if it's like like a whole body sleeve though all right all right, all right. we're uh we're gonna we're gonna go right back to the center <laughs> a third string tokusa clan affiliate Okay, so first tier is the main family. Second tier group, Miyama family. Okay, so they're the, in the second tier. And third tier group is the Akaza Enterprise. So of the Tokusa clan. Okay, Tokusa clan is like the main family of all of this. Okay, I have to... You know what? Let me just uh, draw that triangle that they have. <laughs> okay, so this girl was roughly the same age as you two. She's 20. Roughly the same age. Wait, actually, does that mean, um, Yoshino's 18? <laughs> like they're a senior in high school? Uh, maybe she just ran away from home or someone grabbed her, which wouldn't normally be a big deal, except right now we've got a similar girl on our hands. So basically, so may. If anything happens, there will be hell to pay. So, yeah, basically, if, uh, Yoshino gets kidnapped or something, right? She's a part of, um, she's a part of the Somei clan. So, the Somme, the Somme clan would just be like, what the fuck, you didn't even keep, you know, the, the granddaughter safe? Yo, I gotta say, Yoshino's style is like, on fleek, dude. Like, every time you see her outdoors, you know, outside, outside of school, you know, not wearing her school uniform, and she's just dressed in whatever she's usually dressed, like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> like, this is, a, this is a really nice dress, and obviously, it's white, so it complements very much of her... Uh, of her red hair. And then there's this outfit that she's got on, which, oh, dude, chef's kiss, dude, chef's kiss. I think we get to see it a little bit more in better lighting. Yeah. What is that, like a, a, a beige color, it feels like? I think this is kind of like a dress. I, she she often wears dresses, so I can, let me try and see if I can find... <laughs> God damn, dude. What a fucking smack. No, I think this is a, uh, I think that's a skirt that she's wearing. <laughs> she's, she got fucking smacked. I'm just over here like. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a dress. Okay. It's a dress. 
<laughs> I I love this scene that they have for her when she's like going into this fucking moon, dude. Oh, it's so good. The red outline and like the red scratches. Oh, dude. Fantastic. You know, if I was Kirishima, I'd fucking fall for her too. Understandable. <laughs> Hey, you asshole, what am I looking at? Is this some kind of social club? We're just waiting for you to show up. All this for one punk kid. Okay, so they called for reinforcement. All this for one punk kid. Let's take care of this already. We might let you off this time, but... <laughs> okay, so that guy got knocked the fuck out. And then this guy for one punk kid? Is that what he- is that why Kirishima is like? For one- You son of a- Yeah, what the hell did you say? Something about letting someone off. Oh, we're, we would let you off this time. Huh. Let someone off. Just, just, dude, just stab him right in the fucking eye. <laughs> dude, she must just be like, ah, don't worry. The club don't let you bring anything dangerous or anything. And uh, these motherfuckers are just using bottles and forks. And, and uh, the other guy had like a fucking knife on him. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, none of you are getting out if you're alive. Okay, so he's just over here like, you think that I'm trapped in here with you? No. <laughs> you're all trapped in here with me. I buy it. This guy's more than capable. The fact that he beat up 20 more people. And so she asks, how can he hit someone with all his strength like that? How is he so strong? And so she... Instead of just being like, oh man, this guy's a monster or whatever, you know, that's just, that's just who he is. No, she, she, de she decides to not accept it. And she's just like, no, I'm just weak. <laughs> I could be as, I, 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 I could be as strong as this guy. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my fucking hairdryer. I'm gonna smash it onto this guy. <laughs> oh, dude. So good, dude. I love that Yoshino's just like, no, actually, I'm just weak. I need to fucking get up and I need to enter this fucking fight. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah to Yoshino. I'm not gonna go down with just one fucking hit. Hopefully Yoshino will be like, all right, I need to learn how to fight, you know, if I'm getting into this whole Yakuza business. <laughs> Gotta learn a little martial arts, you know? And maybe keep a glass breaker on you while you're at it, you know? Because I'm going to say is that y you can learn martial arts and you do little punchies and all that. But it'll be much better in these sort of life or death situation if you just got a glass breaker with you. Just fucking punch that. Just use that glass breaker and just pound that shit right into their, right into their inner thighs. <laughs> or like right here, you know, right at their hips or like right in their ribs. Ooh, that will hurt if you ever had gone to a, a, a glass breaker just jabbed into you <laughs> i don't mean like the glass breaker hammer by the way i just mean like you know just an average low glass breaker like this you know it could just be like a, a pen size as well but like just having this right here just puncturing somebody with that not to say puncture because like it's i mean it will break the skin if you hit them hard enough but hey you know hopefully it's not gonna kill them <laughs> Unless you do it right in their fucking neck. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, this man's just out here got a knife on him. Like, the shit? That was really nice, actually. I really like him, uh, you know, dodging. But just the way that he just deflected that knife and get it out of the way. <laughs> Very nice. Hit him right in the forearm and just, like, fucking lunged it. And immediately, knee to the face. Constant knees. And then this guy just stabs Kirishima right in the back. And Kirishima is just like... The fuck, dog? I don't give a shit. Like, he did not flinch at all. And so, I kind of wonder, like, is Kirishima... Uh, is he, like... I, I don't know. Is he... Is, is Does he not feel pain? <laughs> but he is a masochist, so, like, I don't know. But, you know, there are certain people who don't exactly feel... They don't have, like, their pain receptors don't work. And so they don't feel anything, which is, like, bad in a sense of, like, if they have internal bleeding, they wouldn't even know that they're bleeding on the inside. And then they'll just fucking die of, uh, uh, of bleeding internally, right? But, yeah, Kirishima, he just got stabbed right there. He's just like, nope. <laughs> Get out of the way. I want to kick you out. 
Very fun that the this guy was about to smash him with the bottle, to which I wonder if, like, it would have affected him. Maybe, like, it would have knocked him out at the very least, but, like, would he have felt that? But we wouldn't know that, because here she is with her fucking hair dryer, dude. It bonked him so hard, it broke the, <laughs> it broke the nose of her hair dryer. <laughs> she needs a new hair dryer again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's just a nice little tap right there on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> but here's Kirishima seeing Yoshino, and he's just over here like, Oh shit, you're bleeding. Yeah, you're bleeding. And so like, he's 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 putting more care into her than himself, because like, Yoshino's just over here like, The fuck you talking about? There's literally a knife sticking out your leg right now. <laughs> It's also when, like, her accent is, like, coming out, too. Like, you got something stuck in your leg. <laughs> and then this guy, he does not fucking care that there's a knife in his in his leg. He just immediately goes to this dude. It's just like, hey, man, how fucking dare you for making her bleed? He just starts casually punching this guy. You know what's funny? Yoshino just sees Kirishima just pounding this dude. And, and her reaction is to just... Slap it! Just fucking knock him in the back of the head! It's just like, hey, what's your problem? Knock it off! And then he- it, it, it also, she's like, what kind of maniac kills somebody over a single hit, right? This is her reaction. Instead of being scared, she's just like, the fuck are you doing, dumbass? <laughs> and so, he reacts back, and he's just like, but you told him to die before- that's like, almost like- the way that he says it, it's almost like a kiddish reaction. You know, like, but mom, that's what you said before, you know, like, that's, that's really what it feels like. You know, and, 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 and that's what Kirishima wanted. He just wants someone to, to lead him by the leash. <laughs> Killing off trash like this ain't even worth it. <laughs> but you're bleeding. <laughs> this ain't from where... I got hit. I fell and landed on my face. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's such a lie. <laughs> very fun. Very fun. <laughs> he just goes to hug her. Oh, who cares if she's dead? I'm too depressed to care. <laughs> Organized crime news. Well, I guess that wouldn't be a surprise with like the Yakuza here in Japan and all that. <laughs> but I do love that there's a... There, there's like a whole news outlet for just organized crime. <laughs> you seem more injured than I remember. So, they just fucking punched the absolute shit out of his eyes. And then like, what, they cut him right here? I guess? And like, he's wearing black too. So like, I would presume maybe he... And also, because like, he's not wearing long sleeves. So of course, he has to wear like a... I forgot what it is, but, you know, he has to wear that in order to cover his tattoos. But also, like, is it also covering any other fucking bruises and cuts that he's got from, you know, getting absolutely beat by the- by the Yakuza? Kiri Gaia Gumi Turf, which is, um, part of the Somei clan, I would presume. Somei clan? But then, uh, at the same time, Kirishima made the mention where the Somei clan basically owns all of Osaka, while the Miyama, or is it the, or is it the Tokusa clan that only owns 70%, while the other 30% are from, uh, are owned by other Yakuza family. Hold on. Yeah, you, your guys pretty much runs Osaka, but in Tokyo, only 70% belongs to the Tokusa clan. Yeah, so it's the Tokusa clan. Katabami and Ishiro clan, I would presume they will eventually come about. Okay, so there's a hundred year bloody stalemate between the Tokusa clan and the Ishiro and the Katabami, to which it's, um, it will eventually, uh, the Ishiro or the Katabami will either you know, team up with one another to be like, all right, let's try to, you know, get more territory from the Tokusa or one of the Ishiro or, or, or the Ishiro or the Katabami will absorb the other clan to become bigger and then do the whole like, let's continue on with this fucking uh, territory, this turf war that we're gonna have, you know, where we're being introduced to this whole Tokyo stuff, you know, in the, with, with all these three clans. Uh, we, we got the whole, like, Filipino mob, although we didn't see them, but we have heard of them and such. 
and you know they're dangerous to the point where the granddaughter of the Akaza, uh, sorry, yeah, the Akaza Enterprise, she had to go overseas because it's too dangerous to be in uh, Japan for her. And then we also have the Somei clan, which basically owns all of Osaka. And, you know, that is where Yoshino is from. So, like, if something happens to Yoshino, then, like, that could mobilize, I would presume, the Somei clan to <laughs> head over to Tokyo. Hey, yo, dude. Tokyo's a war zone out here, dog. <laughs> But we did learn from Kirishima that he impo he said he imposed himself onto the Miyama clan, but according to Inamori, who Yoshino says is a very normal guy, and you know, perhaps he is a normal guy. <laughs> you gotta have one normal dude in the Yakuza clan, you know, because that's how that is. Some normal guy goes into the Yakuza. <laughs> but he makes mention that Kirishima beat up like 20 or so students when he was in fifth grade and he was just a little bit too much for his parents. So because of that, Gaku decided to take over and he is now, you know, raising this kid because he's a little too violent for the parents. So might as well just give him up to the Yakuza. Yeah, that's exactly where he belongs. <laughs> good on him, you know, good on, good on the parents. <laughs> Anyways, Kirishima did say that he is technically not by blood. It's like he, but he also says that Gaku is like his grand uncle. So like, I don't know, like maybe there is some, but like great, like grand uncle as in like by, by, by merit, you know, by uh, an, 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 an in-law, I would presume. Who knows? Who knows? But he definitely says not by blood, but like maybe like the blood's not thick enough. Anyways, really enjoyed this episode. We've got some information about the turf war and perhaps some things that will happen later on as it, with said turf war. Uh, we got to learn a little bit more about Kirishima and even just seeing how he reacts around when uh, Yoshino gets injured and such. And we get to see more of Yoshino being a badass out here. Good for her, you know? I, I, I'm really enjoying Yoshino's character right now. And I think Kirishima is also very... Uh, very 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 entertaining as well and uh we got to see actually we got to see that last shot where we see this boy who i would presume is shoma perhaps you know that's the only person i assume is shoma but it could be just completely uh, a whole different person you know so uh here is this guy and Kirishima just having a stare off at one another before he goes and takes off and, you know, head off somewhere else. So maybe we will see him in the next episode, you know, when he goes and visits Yoshino. Or maybe he was just watching Kirishima, but no, I assume it's Yoshino. <laughs> you know, because Yoshino sent a text before and the text was from a guy named Shoma and he's just like, what are you doing in Tokyo? So maybe he is over here just to jack up on her like, what the fuck is she doing here? <laughs> <laughs> who knows who knows but again fun episode really enjoyed it and uh let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below um i i kind of got into this part and i just completely forgot to say that part anyways if i have anything else to say i will write it in the description down below and uh that's it bye